Ghost of Christmas Eve is uh, very much like the uh, Christmas trilogy, one of those lucky accidents. Uh, when we first were getting ready to tour in 1999, we got a call from Fox who, um, and this was November 1st when they called us, who asked if they could um, film the band doing Beethoven's Last Night. I'm like, you give me an hour, I'll give you a mini movie. They said, do you have a script? I said, I'll write it tonight. And we quickly wrote a script about a, uh, a 15 year old girl who runs away from home in the middle of summer. And now it's Christmas Eve and she's all alone in New York City. It's snowing out. She breaks into an old abandoned vaudeville theater. And you know, there she was discovered by the caretaker who was played by Ozzie Davis, the legendary actor who uses the ghosts and the spirits from the theater, who were very kindly played by uh, people like Jewel and Michael Crawford, to turn her life around. You know, next year is going to be the 20th anniversary of Christmas Eve and Other Stories, and, you know, TSO is planning to do something really big and special for that. But we've done all three of the Christmas trilogy rock operas, but we've never done the uh, television rock opera live. And seeing the ghosts of Christmas Eve on TV, it's great. You get to watch it with your family. But there's also, there's a magic to live where you get to watch it with a, an arena full of people because when you hear a great vocal performance or you hear a great guitar solo, it's great, you know, if you're watching it in your living room, but if you're watching it in an arena, you pick up the excitement of the person to the right of you, to the left of you, in front of you, behind you, and it basically creates an energy tape loop and you get a rush of emotions that you uh, simply couldn't get from, uh, you know, watching the exact same rock opera in your living room on a television set.